Well, we made it. <coughs> Excuse me, Rocky. Well, we made it back home, but uh, we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work ahead of us. So um, we've got a low tide today. We're going to go down to our out haul and uh, repair one of the, uh, or replace one of the pulleys on that. And then we're going to get our greenhouse material out and, and uh, get that thing set up. Get it dried out first, then set up. Come on, Raven. I just took this out of Skipper's mouth. What is it? It's an eagle tail. And oh, stop! They said it smells really good. <laughs> Well, we've got a low tide today, a negative tide, so we're going to come out here and work on our uh, our outhaul. Uh, we're not going to be using it with the new boat, but we, we're looking for like a John boat or a little, like a 12 to 16, 17 foot skiff, uh, just so we can shuttle things back and forth and, and make our life easier instead of using a little tiny dinghy. So... Uh, that's what we're looking for and that's what will go on this. We can put the big boat on this, but it will just be for, you know, temporary purposes. We wouldn't put it on this overnight. And, uh, the big anchor, should be getting delivered this week. We've got a, a thousand pound Danforth style anchor coming, uh, up that should be delivered, like I said, this week. And so once, once it gets here, once we get it all rigged up, then we'll, uh, talk with the big landing craft and see if um, we can get a time for them to to uh, drop it out here for us. I pour that on there. of clams just all That's over the it. place. Just pull her out. Okay. You have the other end? Yeah. Okay. I'll pull you pull this out. Ready? One, two, and three. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna open her up and put her through. And then you hold this for me. You're gonna put her through. Put these down. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Got her in? Yeah. Okay. You think you can clip that on there and I'll... If you want me to hold it, I will. I have a house. Do you? Mm-hmm. On Admiralty. Yeah. High enough for you? Yeah. There we go. A little tighter. A little tighter? I don't want to strip it, but 
Is that good? That's good. Okay, right, I'll let you take that off. Okay, there. Quick fix. Now let's show everybody what happened again. So we can't figure out why our rope does this on the pulley. We've tried adding chain. We've tried tried taking chain away. I just don't know why. I don't know what. It didn't happen for the first two years, but it so, does now. I don't know if the buckets are too far apart. I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. It stumped me. Even if we can. Huh? Said that would be nice to do it out here. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so. So last fall, right when we were getting ready to tear everything down, we had a big windstorm. <clears throat> and it ripped the seam off of this. So one of our friends, uh, Ron and Pam, Pam's gonna bring over her sewing machine and we're gonna see if we can stitch that back up. So we laid it out here on the table and we are going to um, uh, let it dry out a little bit. So then she's going to bring over a sewing machine. I'm going to get some extension cords and see if I can run an extension cord that's long enough to come down here so we can just sew it out. Sew it right here on the on the picnic table. That's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> there you go. Lay over that side. Perfect. Where do you want your throttle? My throttle needs to be right, right out there. So we have a surprise guest today. We have Ronnie and Pam oh. here. <laughs> I didn't even do my hair today. <laughs> 
And uh, well, they saved us last year and let us uh, use their their what do you call it? It's uh, spring. Our natural spring on the other side that never goes away. And uh, this year she's saving me. Maybe. And and, uh, <laughs> and she is going to sew my um, my door to my greenhouse since we have to use our greenhouse again this year. So um, thank you, Pam, for saving me again. You're welcome. Here you got to be a good team. No kidding. And I said now I'm just trying to see if I need. I don't think I do. What the stitching looks like. Does that look like it's good? Does it look even? I mean, it's not, I'm not getting a bunch of big loops or anything, am mm -hmm. I? Looks good. Looks good, okay. Once you get it, you can come back and redo it. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna just make one pass at it first, then I might come back and like zigzag it so yeah. it'll be a little extra reinforced there, maybe. Don't just don't pull, just kind of keep it steady, but don't pull on it. <laughs> you were too busy working then, know, weren't so you? <laughs> you go. I got it too close to the to the zip zip. I have to tear it all out? No. no. Well, I'll just put another row close to that so this can still get under the edge. Okay, I think that's, that's good. Yeah, let's... I think that's what we need to do. So that's what's good. going on? Well, um, I think I got this edge a little bit too close to the zipper because then the glide won't be able to go under the See if I stitch that edge down. Oh, gotcha. I'm not sure. We'll, well, in some places it's, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, closer. Just, so yeah. I'm just going to make a second row close to this, closer to this one, but not right on the edge. Like, see, this side's really close. Yeah. See, I got it. I got that a little bit too close to the Looking. edge. Yeah, we're gonna have to just going to Just doing a second pass here. Yeah. It, it might not be real pretty. But it doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs a zip, and it does, so I'm happy. Thank you, Pam. You're welcome. She brought out a heavy duty singer. A fancy dancy. Yep. It's a beautiful data. Yeah, never. Oh, I was gonna say I never sewed outside before, but I guess I did down at the river when I was making that uh, cover for the swing seat. It's pretty good scenery, not bad. Yeah, no kidding. You can do just about anything when your workshop looks like this. That's huh? right. <laughs> Pam, thank you very much. You're Year number two, saving us. We appreciate it. What would we do without our neighbors? <laughs> That's what neighbors are for, right? Thanks, Hud. We're not sure if this is year two or year three. I think this is year three. For the greenhouse. I was supposed to make us a greenhouse, but mm, something, something got in the way. <laughs> I was behind schedule anyways, but... Um, was this mishap in 2023? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, the greenhouse is up. We've got a few more things we got to get knocked out today. And then... Um, then we'll be good to go. But we're getting, getting the garden ready. Thanks, Pam, for fixing my door. Well, today is also the last sunny day that we have for the rest of this week. So it's been sunny since we got here. We've been here three days. Uh, I'm, we're well overdue some trail maintenance. So I'm going to go over there, smooth out all the whoop de doos that are on the trail right now and get it prepped up for summer. Well, you can see before I got hurt, the last, uh, last time I used the tractor, it was under, uh, I'm in a short sleeve t-shirt now month and a half ago we still had snow on the ground so let's get these chains off then we'll get over there to the trail
right, so this section of the trail is what I call the whoopty whoops. Over the summer and definitely through the winter, uh, we get all these little uh, whoopty whoops in here, and um, we're gonna just clean them all up real quick, and hopefully it'll last till uh, next year. This is what I'm talking about. All these little whoop 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 like this. That's what we want to get rid of. Well, we got the trail all fixed up. Um, my arm gets a little tired after uh, working a little bit. So we're gonna rest that up and uh, we'll hit it again tomorrow. We've got a little bit more to do. Well, today's the day that we're gonna try out the new boat. Uh, we're going to town. Uh, we've got a uh, crab pot we're gonna buy and uh, some other fishing gear, a king crab pot. We've got some dungeon pots, but this is a king crab pot. And then my mother-in-law, is uh, headed to Seattle for a day for a medical appointment. So my wife's gonna stay in town and uh, help out with her dad. But it's blowing 30 knots, so it's blowing 30 knots out in front of us. The way we're going is probably blowing, I don't know, 18 and 25, something like that. So we're gonna put the new boat to the test. Let's go uh, give it a shot. All right, well, we're out by the boat. This is the uh, winds, winds blowing. I'm on the spit right now. This is the calm side of the spit. This is the direction the wind's blowing. It does make a little bit of difference. Marquita's mooring. She's been kind enough to let us borrow her mooring until ours is, uh, is all finished up and dropped. Uh, so now it comes time for the big crossing. Let's see how things go. I 
seems so high above it. It just doesn't matter anymore. So while we were in Juno, we picked up this uh, king crab pot and some other fishing gear. We also picked up uh, the last remaining chicken from Steve Olmstead. We're going to uh, take care of that chicken for them while they get new chicks this spring. Now it's just time to load everything up and head to the island. Hey, Teresa. <laughs> That's Teresa. So Steve Olmstead had two chickens left. One of them died. And so we're going to take care of Teresa. So she's not lonely. And they were just with each other two weeks ago. So they were familiar with each other and everything. So we're going to let her walk around a little bit. Then we're going to open ours up and let them all mingle together. All right, back up girls. Hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> you bit my camera, Rocky. came in and went straight for the food. Hmm. Do I need more water or am I good for tonight? Oh, you're good. You good? Okay. Yeah. It's like they already know each other. They're like, hey, what's up, shit? I remember you. Well, glad Teresa's making herself at home here. Uh, next week, we're gonna start on uh, prepping the garden. We got the greenhouse all done now. We gotta prep the garden. Uh, we gotta move, uh, hook up the uh, bear fence, reinstall the deer fence. I'm gonna go on a, on a fishing trip with uh, two boys of a subscriber of ours. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else we got going on next week. Anyways, remember, live free, take care. That'll work. Yeah.